Hello and welcome back to the Duda Be A Legend series. We have quite the game to kick off this episode. We are playing in the FIFA Club World Cup. And it's a semi-final. Obviously, there's a final after this if we win. But Jesus Christ, we can't win this season. This team has been awful. Duda and Arteta having a little bit of a falling out. We potentially may leave in January. We'll see how it goes. We've got about five or six games before January. So we'll see how it goes. See if it just works a little bit better. Maybe Arteta decides to not play so defensive 24-7. Otherwise, we may be off to somewhere else. Ball in. Dude is the target. Straight at Mindy. Chance. Chance. It's a good save. Nice, Martelli. Martelli, play me. Oh, my God, really. Sucker. Can I get it to you? No way. That is just shit. That is just shit. That's our whole season summed up right there. How the hell have we not got a shot from that situation? Wouldn't that... Really? Oh, my God. That hit the post. That looks so tame. I'm not going to lie. I just thought it was going to go straight to the keeper. And that's half time. Nil all. And that's been shit. <sighs> yeah, I haven't played this in so long. And we've had one shot. Yeah, this this is... Yeah. <laughs> this is Arteta ball, but it is diabolical to play. It is incredibly boring. It's a chance. It's a massive chance. It's Riyad Mahrez. It's Mahrez. It's wide. I mean, we're not even in the game. We're just not in the game. It's just like our Premier League season this this season. It's just been so bad. Nice, Tudor. Can you flick at Martinelli? Yeah. Yep. That's exactly the ball I wanted right there. Long ball. It's direct now. Odegaard. You play me in. Duda beats his man. Plays it across. Goal. It's Mart... Are you joking? It's this, brother. This, <laughs> Just shoot the ball. Why did you do that? And then you did all that. Just to have a shot there straight at the keeper. Ah, God. Chance. Big chance. It's Firmino. He's gone down. It's no penalty. It's still alive. It's Firmino. Good save, Reyes. Seconds. What a tackle that is. Absolutely clutch. Can we play it out now? Counter-attack could be on. Who are you? Do I, do I, does it look like I'm there? Does it look like I'm there? No, is the answer. I'm just going to play it across goal and hope for the best. There's just no one ever anywhere. This is our tenable. Full time nil all. And we've been dominated. And we're going extra time. But yeah, I'm having a good time. Can you play me? Nice ball, nice ball. Duda. I'm going for goal. What the hell shot was... <laughs> it was so tame, bro. Nice. Nice. Cross up. What a ball. Are you seeing that? Odegaard, where are you going? What are you, cutting it on your weak foot, you psycho? What are you doing? Oh my god, they're through. Is that Firmino? Good tackle, good block. No, you've just hit it to Rice! Yes! Rice, you buffoon. You've just tried to give them a goal. Oh my god. This is unreal. This uh, Arsenal cannot play football. Chance. Straight away. Straight from kickoff. And Raya is literally saving our ass. This is unreal. Nice win. Duda. Plays Romero down the line. Romero gets there. Well done. Keep going. Go into the box. The, oh, bro. What is going on there? Trossard, lay it off to me. Can I fix? Yes. Rice. Why would you shoot it like that? No way, bro. It's going to go to penalties. And there we go. Nil all. Oh, God. The decision making on this team is unreal. I don't know how good our penalties are. 82. Oh, shit. Number three. Okay. We're number three. Trossard, the first for Arsenal. Straight down the middle. 1 0. Roberto Firmino. And it's saved from David Raya. He is so good, by the way. This guy is the reason we've not lost this game. That's for sure. Romero. Scores as well. Duda, you better not miss. You better not miss, you idiot. I can already see us missing it and then bringing this back. Can Raya do it again? Can Raya make another save? Oh my god. This guy is not fair. Well, there's no pressure on us then. There's no, there's no pressure here at all. Duda doesn't even feel pressure. Let's be real. He doesn't feel pressure, this bloke. Duda. Bang! I just, I just knew I'd miss. I just knew I'd, I just knew I would. I knew I would. Oh, Christ. Can Raya do it again? Oh, my God. He nearly did. Mario scores. Odegaard. To, ba to win us the game. Basically win us. This whole thing. And he slots it home. And now Ray is going to save this and we win. And we're in the final somehow. 
Oh, he slots it home, and it's up to whoever's last. I can't remember who was last. Declan Rice, the captain. The captain. Declan Rice to put Arsenal into the Club World Cup final. He's done it. Arsenal scrape their way through because of this man. Raya just is the only reason that we are competitive. It's unreal. We would be relegated without him. All right, it is the Club World Cup final. We already know who we're playing. We're playing it at home because why not? Home advantage. Will it help us? Probably not. Let's just hope this team can function. That works. That's a foul. Or not. Or not. I mean, I got the ball first, but it's okay, I guess. All right, can you play me? Good ball. Duda should get there. He does get there. It's Duda. Yes, he slots it home. Duda scores. And Arsenal lead in the FIFA Club World Cup final. The number nine strikes on the break. It's the perfect start. I mean, Duda's all alone here. Uh, I'll just cut in, I guess. No way. Man, there's never a 45 pass. Oh, Mendy's going for goal. Oh, my God. I mean, you could have probably given me offside. I was in the keeper's face. But, hey, that's the tactic. As they say, Arteta uses the dark arts, and that's one of them. And it's 2-0. And we're cruising. All right, halftime, 2-0 Arsenal. And we look to be going through. But do you know what's interesting about this team? We're playing position-based. That is the tactic that Arteta employs. We never have more position than the opposition. It's, it's like, what's going on? <laughs> we, we can't keep position even though we're supposed to be the dominant position team. I don't know. Make it make sense. Arteta, answer that question for me. Nice play. Oh, beautiful touch, Duda. It's Duda, near post. It's a good save. Good save. You dink me over. Lovely ball. Duda, bang. It's 3-0. Duda gets two, Arsenal get three, and it's as easy as you like for Arsenal. I mean, we don't have the ball much at all, but I don't think these guys are very good. Oh, it's a chance, and they've scored the last kick of the game. It's 3-1. Yeah, rush back, rush back, brother. It's over. It's over. Ah, Cheta Ball's done it. Full time, 3-1 Arsenal, and we are champions of the world somehow. This team somehow champions of the world. It's, it's a goddamn miracle is what it is. I won't lie to you, it is incredibly boring to play with this team. Even though we won 3-1 today, this opposition is nowhere near Premier League level. Why, why aren't I getting this? I mean, I scored two. That's basically the only reason we won. But I mean, the Saudi team completely dominated us, and even our team on paper is better than them, so... It's just, um... Our Jesus tactics conflict each other, really. Or contradict each other, I should say. Like, he wants to play position ball, and then as soon as we lose position, we park the bus. Like, how does that work? How are you supposed to dominate position if you just park the bus as soon as you lose it? You know? Because then the team has time to build up from the back. It's an interesting play, but we are the world champions, and that's bloody awesome. Here we go. Premier League action is back. We are playing against Manchester City at the Emirates. We're 14th place, if you wanted to know. But we are on the benches. Obviously, we just played two games back to back in quick succession, so we're knackered. And honestly, I don't even want to play for these guys anymore. Look at that. Defensive straight away. De straight away defensive. That's just... Ugh. It's unreal. And here we are. Duda is on the field. Oh, we're playing attacking now. Why did we randomly do that? I don't know, but we'll take it. What? Rice. Rice. Uh, come on. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? That's what we're doing? Fair enough. What are we doing? Oh, my. God. Yep. Position-based football. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Arland, good save, Raya. Like, when we attack... It's just me by myself, even though we're on attacking. It's actually making no difference. It's actually wild. Arteta has got his dark arts rooted into this team regardless. Into me. Duda! No, it's off the post! Ah, uh, our first shot since coming off the bench. Our first time in their box. I wasn't even in the box. Full time, and I'm making a decision. I'm uh, making a decision. Not just for Duda's career, but for my own mental well-being. I can't stand this. I cannot stand this. And this is how the table looks with 13th. Eight goals scored in 17 matches this season. 
Arteta's dark arts of parking the bloody bus every game is done well defensively. We're conceding eight. That's brilliant. How about we score some goals? Like, Jesus Christ. I've made the decision. I've made it. It's done and dusted. It's done and dusted. We're leaving. I've had enough of this. I can't stand it. We just scored two by simming, by the way. Carrying this team even more. Look at that. Lost to West Ham because we didn't play. But they may get relegated. Oh, actually, maybe not. <laughs> Leicester and West Brom are really bad. All right, so we have a transfer offer from a European powerhouse. And that is where we will be going. This is where we leave Arsenal. They sit 12th. We won a league here, won a Champions League here, won the Club World Cup here, but this season has been so bad. It's, it's really that simple. And they're not, I mean, they may come back and win the league. Sure, Arteta may give up on his park the bus, but for my mental health, I need to move. This is just horrendous. And the club we're moving to isn't actually winning the league right now, so they're actually struggling a little bit. And that's why they need the Ballon d'Or winner, Duda. And here we go, our new club is Italian giant Juventus, as we have signed, only leaving Arsenal a year and a half after signing for them, but it just, it just got bad. It got so bad. This team, at least, I did my research, they play a press, they play front-footed, and they have an interesting formation as well, which will spice things up for Duda, but they are way more front-footed than Arsenal are, and I'm excited to see just how much better it is, honestly. Because, God, parking the bus was annoying. And here we are to make our Juventus debut in the Coppa Italia first leg. But we are on the bench. We joined, like, two days ago. So, obviously, we can't just jump straight into the team. We'll be challenging for a position for the starting striker with Vahalovic and Keane. They're both 83 rated, or Vahalovic is 84 rated. So, they're good players. Obviously, we are 91 rated. But still, we are the Ballon d'Or winner as well. But still, we have to fight for our place. Let's see how this team plays, and hopefully it's a lot more exciting than Arteta Ball, or as we call it, Terrorism Ball. It's absolutely disgusting. And we are making our debut as it's nil at half time. The opposition's had 75% position. I don't even know. Did we make the right move? Maybe not. But now it's time for us to play with them and see just how different this formation and system is. To you. Back to me. Do the... Oh, I just can't get out of my feet. I can feel the difference, though. These guys are really position-based. You can tell what, by the way they build up. It's not gung-ho fucking hoof it long. It's very much constructed well. Be interesting to see how, if, it, if it continues like that or if it turns to shit. Yeah, there's light back to me. Yes, Duda. Can you play the cross? No, why are you not there, Raspadori? Come on, baby. We need to combine here. Nice ball. Nice play. Duda, it's in! Duda scores the last kick of the game. It's a beautiful goal from Juventus. Come on, baby. Juventus are leading in the first leg. I mean, it's two legs for some reason. I don't know why. It's like the third round or something, but Juventus lead. I probably was a little bit greedy asking for this, this ball, but it was such a good pass, though. And it's a great finish. And Duda scores on his debut. And Juventus take a lead into the second leg. As it is 1-0 full time. And I kind of enjoyed that. That was quite a refreshing game of football. All right. Second match for Juventus. We're on the bench again. But it's the second leg against Salernitana. Vahalovic is starting over us for this game. It was keen last game. Vahalovic for this game. We'll see how he does. And we'll see if we get on the pitch. Oh, Vahalovic scores a beauty. An absolute beautiful goal. Vahalovic strikes. And we're going to have difficulty breaking into the team if he's that good. And it's halftime 1-0. And this has been so dominant. 62% possession, 4 shots to 0. We might be staying on the bench. Well, it's full time. We didn't come off the bench. And that was incredibly dominant from Juventus. 60% possession. Didn't have many chances that second half. But Vahalovic played well. And it's going to be difficult. We're fighting for it. And in the next round, we will be playing against Atalanta. That's not an easy game. And it is time to make a Juventus debut as we start against Monza at the Allianz Stadium and it's time to make our name for ourselves in the Aventus kit. Vahalovic and us are fighting for the spot so we've got to play well. We've got to be scoring goals otherwise we're just going to be sitting on the bench. Finally have some competition which is nice. At Arsenal it was us Eddie and Ketia so <laughs> you know. You pardon me. Nice ball McKinney. It's doing the first time straight to the keeper. It's a good save though. Nice play. McKinney, nice ball. Dirty gets there. Beats his man. Plays it across. Goal! It's a save. And I'm offside. <laughs> no, I reckon that was a close call. 
But started well though. I'm, I'm really liking Juventus and obviously it could be a honeymoon period like it typically is in these sort of games, but they're so patient with the ball that it doesn't feel like it's just gung-ho every two seconds. You know, they actually build up with purpose. You play me, 21. Great ball, do it, do it! Use your chest, use your legs. Why'd you try here to that? <laughs> you idiots. To be fair, this team is parking so deep. When you play me over top, beautiful ball. Duda's in. Duda, what a finish. Juventus lead. Duda scores. On his first ever start for the club, he scores again. And look at that. Look how deep they are. They're running. They're running away. But Duda is just too good in those sort of positions. Great finish with the left foot. Finally, Monza went camped in their box. We punished them for it. Halftime, Juventus won. Monza nil. And it has been a dominant affair. 70% possession. I'm liking this. Space to go, space to go. It's Duda. Look at him go. Duda still. No. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I'm just not fast enough. And that's full time. Juventus won. Monza nil. Utter dominance. Re really dominant game. 67% possession. Five shots to zero. And this is what I expect from a team that's supposed to be somewhat up there in a country. Like Arsenal just weren't this. We're eight points behind Napoli, but I believe we can pull it back. We did miracles with Celtic when we joined mid-season. I believe we can do it again. And for our next match, it is a massive match as we play against Napoli, who are the lead leaguers in Syria away from home. We're on the bench. Vahalovic gets the start over us. We're both in fine form, so it's going to be difficult to really choose us. It's just going to be game by game, switching it around. But Vahalovic has been here longer, so he's always going to get chosen in the bigger matches. We're just going to prove ourselves. We're just going to score 50 goals. Well, that's a great start. Oh, Vahalovic, he's one on one. It's Vahalovic for Juventus. He's missed. Vahalovic, I mean, I'll take your spot if you're going to miss chances like that. Massive miss in this game. And that's half time. Sub him off. Get him off the field. And he is. Vahalovic is off the field. He cannot believe he missed that chance. And he subbed him off. No, Rester, I thought you were going line. Can you play it in? No, I'm getting blocked. Oh, I thought he was going line. Oh, hey, referee, come on. I've had my problems with injuries, mate. We don't need any more. Oh, my God, that's a ball. How has he missed? How has he missed? Oh, my God, that is two absolutely massive chances. Both us and Napoli have missed this game. This is unreal. Duda picks it up. Duda still going. Yes, yes. Ah, oh, I'm offside, bro. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> for half a second, I was like, hold on, has the game had a meltdown here? Nice. Nice, keep playing back inside. Yes. Duda picks it up. It's Duda. It's Duda. No, he just tackles me in time. You just gave it to him. Oh, full time nil all. Both teams miss big chances. I blame Vahalovic. Useless prick up front. Never play him again. And we're back into the starting lineup for this game as we host Lise at home. And hopefully Duda can get another goal, baby. Plays it across goal. Shit. He plays it across goal. Shit. Oh, he referee, bro. Come on, man. Can't be getting injured. Oh, you stuffed it as well. Halftime nil all. And we've actually struggled to keep possession this game. Look at that. 60% possession for the opposition. Not been a good game from us so far. Nice 17. Duda driving. Duda driving. Look at the space now. Great ball from Duda. Can he finish? What a save! Finally, we got some space up front. And it's a great save from the keeper. Nice. Can you play it one more? Yes, Duda. Oh, God. I can't believe that. Chance for Lee. He's still going. He's still going and he scored. He's won the game. It's been a stinker from us, to be fair. We have not been controlling the ball well today at all. We've been very forceful today, which is very unlike us. And we've lost because of it. We had no patience today. Everything was too direct. Too many one-touch passes. Full time and we lose. It's a frustrating result. I mean, Lee's came here and played football. And we didn't. All right, another match in Syria. We're on the bench for today. Keane's getting an opportunity up front because we honestly didn't play very well last game. As a team and as an individual, we weren't good enough. Oh my God, what a ball. An Empoli lead. And Juventus might be going for a little bit of a rut here. All right, we're on for the second half. Down 1-0. We've been struggling to create chances. We've been a bit better with possession today, but still not opening them enough. You can shoot if you want. Good effort a goal. I mean, that's a positive start. Two minutes in. Number five, beautiful ball. Duda, 
No, there's no way. There's no way that's happened. Oh, come on. That was a massive opportunity. Chance for Impoli. Still, he's going to play it across goal. Oh, my God. I can't believe he's played it across goal. Oh, my God. Chance. Oh, it's just wide. All right, Juventus. What the hell is happening? Chance again from Poli, and it's game over. It's 2-0, and Juventus. I mean, I think the issue we're having is defensively, really. Um, we're not winning when they go direct. We're not winning that position, and that's what's causing us to not be able to keep on the front foot. Because in the early games that we played, every time they try to play forward, we won position, and we just can't do it at the moment. You dink it in. What a ball. No, what? <sighs> I wanted to bring that down. I can't believe he actually got there. Damn it. Ball in, Duda, no, yes, someone's got to shoot that. Duda, no, go for it, Duda. Why, why'd you do that? Can you play me? Nice ball. Duda, he gets there first, and he surely scores. How do you not score? Duda, what a ball. I just get there first. Oh, he misses it. He's supposed to just, like, hit it at or something. He actually missed it completely. Oh, no way. That's full time 2-0. I don't know how we don't score that. I really don't. And it's just not a good performance. Again. Look at that. Probably six shots. The defense is just not playing well. And it's not good viewing. We're down to 11th. That's not good viewing at all. It's Arsenal v2. I, I, I just joined from this sort of level. Come on, man. Massive match today as we host Inter Milan in the league. We're on the bench. Vahalovic has got the spot ahead of us. Let's see if he can do the job or we're going to have to come on and try and do it for him. But at the moment, I'm not feeling too confident about it. Oh, what a goal. What a goal. Into Milan lead, and they've been absolutely battering us. So it's absolutely deserved lead. It's a fantastic free kick. And we're coming on at half time. I can already see it now. Nice play. Mihalovic, she's at the post. Ah, Dusan. And Duda's on for the second half. It's 1 0 to Inter Milan, and they've been very good today. And Dusan hit the bloody post. Useless, man. I actually kind of want to play with Dusan, but I don't think it's going to happen. Wait, am I going for it or are you going for it? What is going on? What the? Oh my god, I thought he was going to take it. And then it just locked me in last second. Latara Martinez is in. And it's in. I don't know what the keeper's doing. I don't know what he's doing. He's left his whole goal open. Martinez scores. And Juventus are just getting cooked now. Three games, three losses. This is just not good enough. Number eight, play me. Duda, no. No, there's no way no one's there for a tap in. Oh, come on. Thanks to me. Duda! No way you've not gone... F oh, you idiot. How have you hit that straight at him? That's, we should be. We should have scored. We should have scored today. Referee! Just play on, though. Play on. We were cooking. No, number eight. Where are you going, brother? Just keep running forward. Pass the ball, man. Ah. Oh. Well, it's full time. 2-0. And as soon as they scored that second goal, we suddenly came to life and absolutely dominated them for that 20 minutes. But we just can't seem to just dominate a game from the first whistle. All right. Last game of the episode. We are starting in the Serie Away to Frozen Old. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my God, McKinney. Duda, what a finish, what a goal, that Juventus. Oh my God, I didn't even ask for that ball from McKinney. I was going to, I was about to click the buttons, but he'd already bloody put it straight into my path. Come on, Juventus won. Frovers are no nil, but look at this play though. Excellent, look at this. That is just, oh my God, that's, that's off the training ground, it has to be. We've been much better already, like I can tell, we've won about three aerial duels defensively, and it's allowed us to just keep attacking them. Nice, Duda. Well won. Well won. What the hell pass is that? Oh, we had a good breakaway there. Can you play me in? Nice ball, Duda. Can I... Oh, no, no, come on. Serious? Seriously? <laughs> what am I supposed to do there, man? This is a very dangerous chance. Ten seconds left of the half. He's not gone for goal there. He's not gone for goal. Okay, thank you. And that's half time. We lead 1 0. Should be more, but we're just being wasteful going forward. That's really it. No way you just run it out. Oh, come on. We just have a corner there, man. Oh, my God. Oh, I thought it went in. Oh, my God. I saw the net move and I thought that was a goal. Full time 1 0. That second half became very frustrating. The amount of wasted opportunities going forward was quite frustrating. But three points in the bag, clean sheet, goal. Have to take it.
And we end the episode sitting at 10th. 13 points behind Napoli, who are currently at the summit. Not good enough. And we're injured. <laughs> nice. And we won 1-0 against Torino. Okay. Yep, that's good. Good result. Oh, we lost 1-0 in the quarterfinal. We've still got a second leg, I do believe, though. So there's a chance to turn it around. And we're still injured. And we lose again. And we're out of the cup. Ah, oh, <laughs> injuries, bro. Injuries. I'm over it, man. I'm over the injuries. They ruin the season every time. Bloody injury prone. All right, we're back fit. So that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you did. And I'll see you boys in the next episode where we clearly have our Champions League round of 16 match. And hopefully we don't get injured.